Hello, another net galley art to talk to you about today. This one comes out on the 2nd of February and it's called Wayward by Amelia Hart and it's a debut novel. Let me read you the, the blurb. Kate, 2019. Kate flees London and her abusive partner for Cumbria and Wayward Cottage, inherited from her great aunt. There a secret lurks in the bones of the house, hidden ever since the witch hunts of the 17th century. Violet, 1942. Violet is more interesting in collecting insects and climbing trees than in becoming a proper young lady until a chain of shocking events changes her life forever. Alpha, 1619. Alpha is on trial for witchcraft, accused of killing a local man. Known for her uncanny connection with nature and animals, she is a threat that must be eliminated. So that is the blurb of the book, and doesn't it sound brilliant? So you've got the idea of a witch hunt, but do not think of witches with pointed hats and broomsticks when you pick up this book, because that is not what we've got. You've got these three timelines and they focus on these women. And these women have an affinity, an, ugh, I'll start again, an affinity, a close bond with the natural world. It's the world of the magic of nature, not, a mag not potions and spells and stuff like that. This is a natural magic. This is nature. And how nature can sustain, how it can bring life, how it can heal You've got Alpha in 1619, you've got Kate in 2019, and you've got Violet in 1942. And the author weaves an intricate web, almost like a spider's web, because we're talking about nature here, to show how these women are connected and the discoveries they make about each other and how they all share the same gifts. I don't want to give too much away because the the discoveries that they make, it's all part of the story. So if I start giving you hints, it's it's going to spoil it. And this is what I find difficult about reviews sometimes, about not about wanting to talk about the book, but being wary that if I give too much away, I've spoiled it. What I really liked about this is that each timeline was as interesting as the other. Sometimes when you have sort of books with different timelines you are drawn to one and not to the other and you almost get to the fact that oh it's her turn again I'll skip past that and move back to the timeline I'm interested in but not with this one. You are engaged with all three women you want to know their story there's no skipping over one to get to the next you are engaged totally there is also an undercurrent of fear particularly with Kate's story there's a fear that is bubbling away and it's quite a chilling fear as well on, on her story in particular it's a story about nature. It's a story about natural magic. It's a story of women's power. These women have got power. And um, I don't want to say any more because I don't want to spoil it, but a fantastic debut. Three very different women that you are totally engaged with the whole time. Three stories of discovery and super i really really enjoyed this one comes out in february 2nd of february so wayward happy reading take care